Hey, welcome to this video. We're going to solve B code problem 169, majority element. And for those of you new to the channel, this channel is dedicated to solving programming problems that you're going to see in an interview setting, and I want to help you guys out. And with that being said, let's get started. Now, before continuing on, I highly recommend you watch my previous video called Single Number because the programming concepts we learned in that problem, we're going to apply to solve this problem and then build a little bit on top of that. But if you haven't watched that video yet, that's totally fine. I'll still go over everything just very quickly, all right? And uh, let's get started. So here's my code editor. And actually, let me delete the solution. And let's get started. So I'll say const hash table is equal to an empty JavaScript object. And again, this creates a count of how many times something appears. So maybe hello world appears four times, and then the number five appears three times, right? Because we want to find the majority element well, we need to keep like a tally or a count of how many times something appears. And of course, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and enables me to create more awesome free content. Let's keep going. And then to fill this tally or hash table out, I'll use a for of loop. So I'll say const num of nums. I'll say ht num is equal to ht num plus one or one. So in the single number video, yeah, I believe in the single number video, I explained what this code does. But again, this right here where I highlighted will increase the count by one, and that thing doesn't exist. So this is the first time we see hello world. It will say, well, make hello world equal to one, because that's the first time it appears. Now that we've filled out this count, right, using this code, let's go over the count and see which one has a majority. So I'll say for const key in hash table. So a for in loop that we have here is a really easy way to loop over keys and values in a JavaScript object. So here's the documentation. And I'll say if ht key is greater than nums.length divide by 2. And then we'll put this in a math.floor to round down. So math, math.floor nums.length divide by 2. And quick documentation is math.floor rounds a number down. Right, so we have 5.95, map.4 will round it down to 5. And we need to do this in case we get like 3.5 or 4.5, that kind of thing. And if this happens, well, we'll return the key, right? This is the thing that appears a majority of the time. So I'll save and paste it in. Submit. And we're good to go. So now let's talk about the time and space complexity of our solution. And before going on to that, well, if you like this kind of content, on my website of kaeducation.com, I have full-length courses going over more complex leak code problems and data structures, which are things you're going to want to know to pass your job interview. So what is the majority element, that's the name of the problem, complexity analysis? Time complexity is O of n, because our for loop goes over every number in the input array of numbers, and then our space complexity is O of n because we use a hash table to, well, create a count. And that's it for this video, and I'll have more free content in the future, so be sure to stay tuned for the next video.